All right, welcome back to Minecam. You may be wondering what these uh, interesting surroundings are. Uh, for some reason, I've decided to build this a 30 by 20 um, thing out of nether quartz. I did try and put pillars on the side, but they're quite awkward to place. And then I built this strange thing here. Um, but yeah, what I'd like to do is actually make sure I keep the because I wanted to, I wanted to somehow use all three of these things. Um, mm, oh, that's not about as. Because mm, I've got that in perfect order now. All right, let's just do this then. And I'll just put the. Yeah, I, I I looked at it and um, stone brick stairs. Yeah, what's that one? White stone. Hmm. Well, maybe if I don't use that anyway. So the thing about chemistry, there's a few things I want to go through first. First of all, um, I'm going to talk about the microscope. And about the crafting recipe for the microscope. Oh wow, this is like fucking old school errors. So, as you can see, we need a microscope lens for it. That's when, and that's con you get from convex con and convex concave, and that's simply from pieces of glass. It's just something I didn't actually talk about last time, but I thought I may as well. Um, and I mentioned the chemical storage chest. Um, now let's just look at some of these these items. Obviously, with organic chemistry, it's carbon based, so you need a lot of carbon, you need a lot of hydrogen, you need a lot of nitrogen. Um, there are various kind of compounds, so you can see. And one of the good ways to organize these things is actually to, um, yeah, you see, this is all the different groups that they're in. So what you could in theory, unfortunately the periodic table is actually supposed to be an actual thing that you can hang on the wall, but it doesn't seem to work. Um, but you can see we've got it and some of these are actually radioactive. So if you get a radioactive one, because unless you turn radio, it's in the config settings, but unless you turn it off, it's not going to be good. So if you just hold a bit of it, just get a radioactive one. I'm on recipe still, yeah. If you get a radioactive, um, it should probably waypoint this. Uh, I'm going to call this, I'm going to make this the base. I do have one, there's the other problem I've got. I'm going to have to build a fusion reactor because these things require a lot of power. But yeah. So there's a lot of things I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, obviously doing um, amps means that you have to think about more stuff. Um, and but I'm hoping that somehow I can make this a base. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, I wanted to actually go through these a bit more carefully. So it's obviously from 1 to 118. Um, they don't have like un undinium or whatever. Because I know that for the for the later, for the heaviest elements, the ones which have, you know, you know, sort of up in the air and haven't been like registered by IUPAC yet, they like, um, they're not as, they're not as, um, um, yeah, I don't think I don't think they actually accept, and there's also a few of them. So most of these are actually the real things, and there's even some animated textures there. So xenon. Yep. Let's see. Actually, I'm trying to think if I know most of them. I do know most of them. Tungsten. That was one of the very early um, elements um, by Shield, I believe, Swedish guy. Yeah, there's Shiel, there's Bezadius, Verla, a lot of um, chemistry people back in the day. Um, 
And it's kind of good for me because I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of interested in chemistry. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So you see, like, two inert gas. So, helium. Let's see, where's, um, um, I can't even, the problem is I can't even see all the letters. Uh, but if you know them, that wouldn't really be a problem. Where's the next inert gas then? Yeah, neon, that's what I was thinking of. So for instance, you could just put like helium and neon together. And that is probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'm probably going to just arrange them all by groups. And I'm going to look at all the, you know, there's all these different blocks in the period. Of, there's like the S block and the P block, transitional metals. And then, like I said, and like I alluded to last time, there are the lanthanides and the actinides. But they're all here. Here you see, this is the actinide section. But if I did take one of these, um, and I went into survival, uh, oh yeah, well, yeah, oh shit, you see, there we go, element material decayed into, and you see, it actually, actually decays, so that's, that must be to do the half-life of it. Because obviously um, the later elements, there's so there's so many um, or whatever it is, quarks and fucking um, and, uh, and protons and electrons and neutrons going around there. It's just decaying all the time. So yeah, and that's I mean that's like 108. Let's see, Darmstadium. And then some of the later ones, yeah. See, that's 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 the naming the naming thing. Un untrium, cellulose. I think that was yeah. Um, that was what I got from a uh, hmm. tree. So not CC. Now there's also um, um, and some of these, of course, are actually um. Um, they've actually been in Greg Tech as well, but this is obviously a bit more. Um, I wonder if they've got potassium hydroxide, butene, of course. We've got a variety of narcotics in here. There we go. Uh, and you see amino acids. There's I, mean, I think there's twenty amino acids on there. Alanine. Yeah, glycine. I wonder if they've got all of them. Serine, yeah. So that's pretty cool. They've got. Well, I don't think they've actually got all the amino acids. That would have been nice if they had that. Um, they've got potassium hydroxide. That's alcohol, ethyl alcohol. Spelled incorrectly. Oh, shit. And you can see that it's actually, in real time, it's actually, um, it's uh, decaying. So it's, it's losing... Uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to say what I think it's losing because I might, I might put it wrong. No, it's losing a proton, isn't it? Yeah, no, I haven't got that wrong. What am I talking about? All right, so you can get testosterone. This is pretty cool. If you drink it, you should get speed and strength buff. And there's a few like that. Um, arginine, another amino acid, sulfuric acid. Um, Ammonia, you actually got salt there, which is cool. Um, uh, they have potassium hydroxide. What the fuck is that one? No, oh, that looks like a, an, 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 an enantiomer. No, is it? Enantiomer and stereomer. Stereochemistry. Chirality. I don't know what I'm talking about really. I made I made in the future though. I'm gonna try I'm gonna learn all this stuff. Um you know. Um you know, you may as well really. Yeah, the chemist journal. 
I'm not sure if I actually showed that last time. Um, so what I need to do anyway is I want to get... Um, uh, what do I want to get? Yeah, I mean, I do want to get like... Yeah, this quantum battery thing, I can't really... It doesn't seem to do it. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um... Yeah, you see, this just keeps on doing this. All right, I should probably just get rid of this stuff there. All right. So and I'm gonna go back into creative mode just because it's kind of annoying getting all this stuff all the time. So what I want to do is I probably want to actually build my um. Yeah, I keep on now this thing. I mean, how do you make an array of this stuff? Because these things they take a lot of power. Yeah, I should have looked through the slots things. And see that this is the way to power everything. Where's the fucking interface? Nah, I don't know about this. I guess I can just keep on putting these stupid things in. Sugar charcoal. Yeah, I don't. I, don't, I actually want to be generating power. Though. This is really fucking annoying. Mm. Can I just do? Yeah, what? Well, yeah, that's, of course, it's like that. This it should work on this though, right? It's just a regular block. No, it's always down a fucking stone in it. Let's see, a bit goes on here. No, it doesn't. See, any of these could be the answer, really. Looks pretty cool. It's not getting much, much fucking energy, though, is it? To be honest. What, does it just put the battery in there? That's shit. I bet it is. Yeah, damn fucking right it is. Still, if I can, if I can put it in. Come on, let me let me plug it in. No, that ain't plugging in. This is literally just put the thing in there, isn't it? I can fuck off then. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep filling these things up. I'm just gonna get a load of these and just fill it up. Oh wait a minute. Oh I think we just found what I'm looking for. Cause this has got a shitload of power already built in. So fuck this then. And let's get back to work. Alright. Yeah, that's that just a beast. So let's look at the um, items once more. 
All right, so if we look at that, it's 4,112. So we're going to go back to the area. Um, okay. Chemical decomposer, synthesis machine, blueprint projector. Um, so this looks like some sort of structure you have to build. That, All I right. don't know. It's so, just yeah. It's never normally a particularly good idea to use things that have got a missing texture. Um. Yeah, some of this stuff is mine factory loaded, which I already used. All right, so I've got this cube here. Not oh, sure you got one there. Know what happened there? Um, so I guess I can put down all these all these items. Now, if you look at my chemistry journal here, chemist journal. I think I was looking at, in the first episode, I was looking at, okay, it's completely reset. So let's see, I don't think the, the this actually requires any power at all. So let's try some quartz. No, it does require power, I think, actually. Stone? No, it doesn't, you see. So it requires... Synthesis machine. So this is a percentage chance it's actually going to drop all these elements. So what you can do is you can basically decompose it into its core elements. Or you can create it. As you can see, we have the two here. So I'm going to leave that there. No, actually I'm not. And I'm trying to think how what well, the best way to do this would be. I'm going to put that there. This there. But you see it's actually quite beneficial having a big um, thing like this. You know, this, I don't know what the fuck this does. Huh. So this is actually to do with the, the atomic science bit. Now, as I, as I mentioned before, you need to have, um, well, they're called vials here. I believe I believe the original name in um, Mind Chem One was uh, Test Tube. Okay, so this yeah, so like. That cannot be right, 20 microjoules per tick. That's an absurd fucking usage. So we've got resistance and amps. So, uh, I'm trying to remember, what's is it Kirchhoff's law? You have to remember, vehicles, is that our vehicles IR? I need to look at this up, I'm going to have to look this up as well. But I just like, I like the silver wire, because that, that's one, when I was looking at the config, it seemed to be, that seemed to be. <laughs> Well, that was unexpected. I probably shouldn't really un not.
Was it? What does this thing do then? Now this may be a problem. This thing is just too fucking powerful, isn't it? The voltage is too high. I don't even know what mod this cube thing is. I'm going to have to do another thing, another video on this one as well. Let's see how it deals with the basic one then. It was a bit again above my head with the ultimate. Wait a minute. No, wait. Which one did I just. Basic. Alright, there's the basic. No, it's not blowing out. That's a good sign. That's cool. The problem is it's draining it very, very fast. So it's stored 10,000 Minecraft jewels. That doesn't make any sense when it's only got two Minecraft jewels. Okay, mega jewels. Forget about the Minecraft jewels. I know this is universal electricity. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense though. It's got two mega jewels. And this is all, it somehow managed to get. And it looks like it's taken like 1.16 or something from it. Oh, yeah. Well, to be honest, this figure often makes no sense. So I won't worry about it too much. So let's put... Um, put some stone in there. And... Um, and... Uh, vials. Alright, so we go. I put some stone, use some stone up. Got titanium, oxygen, and lead. Hmm. So that's what happened there. Now you see in this, you actually put the manual. So let's get that. You know what? It's going to help if I actually. Um, I don't want 64 of them. It's going to help if I actually put something in this journal. So we're going to go back to the microscope, and I'll put the journal here, and it doesn't need anything, so a piece of stone here. So when we take the journal out again, you can see we've now got stone in there. The thing I don't quite understand... So magnesium and oxygen, titanium. So what what do we get then? We've got titanium, oxygen, and lead from a piece of stone. And this is the the decomposer. Oh, you fuck. Stop doing that shit. Yeah, 
I think it's going to remain in the book there. I see this is just going to, so it goes from iron, magnesium, there's obviously impurities in the stone, titanium, which we've got, let's see if we get lead, lead next, lead, okay, so that's stone in the decomposer, so that's cool, I'm going to just stick with the basic energy cube for now, I think, um, it seems to have more than enough power to be able to do anything I want here. Um, so, so there's no recipe. So if we put in our journal, hmm, it's powered. It's plenty of. You see, this requires a bit more. Funny enough, this is a, this looks very similar to the interface of thermal expansion. I don't know if it's some generic thing. Um, hmm. So then we can just, you literally just, um, it's kind of the impression that you just, yeah. What do I put in? And you see, it's actually come up with something that I haven't actually even discovered yet. But I'd have to put in an empty vial, maybe, would I? No. Ah, uh, I see. It's like a project table, I think. So, yeah, it just, this is like, these, these and these items are not actually in here. This is just a template. Is that not right? Yep, yeah, that's correct. And there we go, we've got titanium dioxide. And what we can also do with the microscope is we can then actually take these things and look under that as well. So we can see what a compound such as this. Um, and obviously it's... Um, well, it could go further, couldn't it? So what I want to do now then, I'm just going to not use that chest because I want that chest. Um, I thought it might be quite interesting to go through um, some vanilla items actually. Um, I'm just going to create another chest here. Yeah, I thought it would be quite fun to go through some vanilla items. And um, and now we're at a kind of, we're at the stage now where it's kind of a, I so I want to look more power generation, and I also would like to. Um, I don't know. This chemistry thing has got me, in a way, it's, it makes me just want to build a, a big fucking house right here. In a, this is quite a nice area I've got here. It's kind of irrelevant to what I'm talking about, but this idea that I've got, um, with this thing like this, I thought I could do it. I didn't actually count this very carefully. But it looks like it's almost on the edge, like two away, two away from the edge on this side, and and one away from there. Yeah. It's not. I don't know. It depends if it's going to be even. But to be honest, I could probably do it, and I could put another staircase. You know what I could do? Yeah. I could possibly put a staircase there, and then do. I could do. I could do some interesting stuff. I certainly like. I just. I just thought of this shape, and it looked pretty interesting. And also, I'm right here. I've got this big, it's a fir wood, this is an extra biomes um, tree, um, redwood forest, yeah. Well, that's an extra biomes tree as well. Yeah, because a lot of people don't really think about extra biomes, but it is, a lot of the stuff that you don't even think about is actually extra biomes. I mean, it gets confusing with forestry and stuff, but there are fir, fir trees and stuff and redwoods and, uh, you know, great wood and silver wood are um, thorncraft, but... Um, yeah, there are, you know, fir and autumn, 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 the, the, um, the multicolored trees. Interesting enough, you can see where the, I'm right on a, because this is the edge of the biome, 
there's actually um like if you take like this tree for instance here um I don't know, maybe not. It looks a bit different colour though. But it doesn't look like I'm actually on a, a boundary. Because it has to be div divisible by 16. But anyway, let's go back to the thing. And like I say, I'm going to go through... Um, um, it was nice having a big fucking area like this though, I tell you. It's a lot easier. So I've put all that stuff away. Um, one of the interesting things we could try is just look at the carbon. The carbon is probably going to have a very interesting story to tell. What it seems as basis for organic chemistry. Um, um, what was it that I wanted here? But yeah, I don't really understand the microscope that doesn't need any power. It doesn't make much sense. So did I put the book or did I just remove it from the inventory? It must have done. <laughs> yeah, I thought that might not work actually. Now, what this could mean is that no um, element actually works, any compounds work, which is pretty quite likely. Let's try oxygen. Yeah, and let's try more. Um, let's try neon. If this doesn't work, then I'll be. Oh yeah, and that's what the and. That actually makes it easier to do it because the icon is um stable number. So it's orange animated dots um, uh, for non metals, and it's blue animated dots for inert gases. Interesting. You can't do multiple ones. Actually, sorry, is it is this because I'm not putting the book in? No, it's not. It just doesn't it just doesn't do this stuff. Now you see if I if I did um what was that really super complicated one at the end? There you go. I did this one. There we go, you see. This is why you this is why you need to store up you get a lot of did I say? Yeah, I said hydrogen before. Because obviously, um, you know, it's only got one, um, one electron in the outer shell. It's only got one electron at all. And you bind it with Lewis structures. I'm gonna have to look at this. I don't. Know, I, to be honest, it won't. It won't. It won't be quite like this. But this, in a way, this mod is a bit like um, equivalent exchange. Uh, yeah. So let's see what happens then. So if you decompose it, 100% chance of this. And if you actually want to create it. So yeah, so there may well be, I wouldn't be surprised. You see, what, this is what happens when you try and do, um, try and click on the periodic table. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't crash. Well, you would think it would actually would crash. I wonder what I'm supposed to put this. I'm pretty sure this is on the same mod. The fusion chamber. No, maybe it's not then. So, yeah, so like I say, I want to look through some various just vanilla items. So let's completely empty my inventory and just do that. Um, wow. All right, well. And that's enough, anyway. So let's look at some vanilla items. 
Um, and we did wood before. Let's try sand. Let's try gold. Let's try iron. Coal. Um, and the good thing about this mod is that it's, it tries to be fairly accurate. Um, we can try wool. Piston might be interesting. And we could try a flower or two and a mushroom or two. Um, I won't. I won't try the spawners. Especially these new. Um, we're gonna. I'll be looking at these later on in perhaps in another um, series related to this. Um, could look at a silverfish block perhaps. Oh, well, maybe it counts. Well, actually, the same thing there. No, I remember I covered it in one of my Minecraft features episodes. I covered that issue. Um, dragon egg might be an interesting item to look at. Diamond. Block. Um, redstone we'll look at. Um, emerald we'll look at. Cocoa, maybe. These must be, I don't know what these items are, but maybe that's a comparator, I don't know. I think it is. But it's just not listed here. Um, and then I'll get some other items as well. Bucket of lava, maybe. Minecart with a furnace, perhaps. Um, blaze rod, end pearl, for sure. Um, cake, glass tier. All right, so there's a few items to look at, and I think I think we'll just we'll just do this, and then um, that'll be the end of the video. Um, so let's just remove this. Um, I don't really want it there. I don't really want it there either. Let's just let's just put this in the chest. Of course, I can't. Oh, if I just back away, yeah, <laughs> that'd be all right. So we look at sand, silicon dioxide, and I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to do the. I want to use. I want it. I want it to actually collect the stuff, but it doesn't seem to be collecting it. So that's just. Four lots of silicon dioxide, 16 silicon dioxide. And you can see this is, yeah. So synthesis, you have to actually, so synthesis, you actually have to craft it, whereas in the decomposition, it's just put it in there and wait for it to come out. Which is fair enough. And you get this, um, yeah. Should be AU, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. AU. I'm 79. That's not a huge surprise. Always worth seeing it. Um, uh, here we are with FE. Now 32 FE for an iron block. Iron ore, rather. May well be different values for. Um, yeah, let's just. Um, while I'm here, I'll just. Uh, May as well just do an ingot. Um, let's move these along a bit. Uh, do an ingot. Uh, do an iron ingot. Oh wow! So it's reorganised them. Uh, fucking inventory tweaks. Eh? It does nothing useful ever. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so we were in the middle of doing this. Um, I got coal or an emerald or so we saw the iron it was thirty two, an iron ingot sixteen. Interesting. So now I get to decompose in sixteen. 
but the block actually decomposes into 32. So I guess that makes sense in terms of the you know the whole maceration pulverizing mechanic that often goes on these things. Um, 32 for the gold. And yeah, 16 for the ingot. Okay, let me see where this is going. Maybe the same for coal. 32 carbon. Okay, because obviously it's natural. Um, yeah, same thing. So it's consistent. An emerald is beryl. Which has got, what's B? I I can't remember what B is now. Um, oh, no, Beryl. Beryl? So it's called, it must be, no, Beryllium, it must be. Chromium, Vanadium. Okay, so that's got quite a lot of stuff in it, Emerald. Um, so in a way, it's like, you know, Emerald's often not used. Just look at the Dragon Egg. Nothing on Dragon Egg. Enderpearl? Einsteinium? Calcium Carbonate. Wow, 5,000 uh, megajoules for this. So it requires eight of them. Yeah, okay, I see. So it is actually, it's always the same. I thought maybe there might be a difference in it, depending on if, you know, if it's like, you know, like, was it like endothermal, exothermic reaction? It might have been different somehow, but no. Mushroom. Muscarine and water. And yeah, this this word, I thought I knew how to pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure I don't know how to pronounce it now. I thought I did, but I don't. Cocoa? Nope. Let's look at the flowers now. I'm not really going in order, but there's not really that many items here, so it doesn't really matter too much. A flower is shikimic acid. 30% chance for that. It takes 100 megajoules. Rose. Wow, nothing on rose. I should have probably gone for the dyes as well. Cake. Well... It's not a huge surprise. See, this will be interesting. Nope. Lava bucket. No, it's not doing that either. So there's not that many, not that many even other items. Blaze rod. Plutonium. So that's the first actinide. There may there may also be other items in. Because uh, the thing about this is that this this um, this works with a variety of different mods. So maybe not everything is accessible. See nothing on the piston, that's surprising. Diamond block. That's called carbon nanotubes, yeah. Whoa. Big, big numbers there, 120,000. So I guess it's the same sort of thing. Wool, um, glycine and titanium dioxide. Monster egg brick? Nothing. Thought it might be a bit obscure. And yeah, um, we do redstone block. No, probably not incorporated into the game yet. Um, Gast here. I can never pronounce that one. Ter ter e, 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 probably E terbium. And lanthanides. That's the first lanthanide. We had an actinide earlier. And nobelium as well. Another. another um, Actinide. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I've gone through quite a lot um, in slightly more, a lot in more significant detail than before. I've actually found an energy source. I've talked about the various the microscope, the decomposer, the and the synthesis machine in more detail. And I've displayed a number of elements from the vanilla game um, and talked about what properties they have. In future episodes, I may. I may, I may go into more detail, but I will have to because, because you know, I have to get in more detail. Um, but yeah, that's all for now.